Thank you for tuning into my channel. It's Whip It Wednesday for Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. So if you want to see what I've been working on this week, please stay tuned. I hope everybody is having a wonderful start to the new year. Um, I hope that you can get some things accomplished and that you can uh, meet some goals that you have for this upcoming year. Um, as far as my projects in the craft room or the sewing room, I've been doing a little bit of work on um, three projects, two that are commissioned and one that's just kind of my own um, project and we'll go over those a little bit at a time. The first thing that I'm going to start with is my Christmas memory quilt. I have um, made the special blocks and I have the, um, and I've started cutting out the shirts for that. And what I have here are some black squares that I've cut out. And then I have some red burgundy squares that I cut out. And then I cut out some squares and rectangles um, for the blocks. And you've already seen the video for the special blocks for this. I will link it in the description box so you can go back and look at it if you haven't seen it already. I've made two blocks for this quilt here um, this past week. This block is the woven cross block that I did in my uh, beginner sampler quilt last year. I will link that uh, video as well. But there will be a video coming out about this process I just haven't uh, made it to that point yet. I'm still cutting out shirts for this project, so it's going to be a little bit before I can actually put everything into blocks like this. Um, but I'm happy with the progress I've made. I have a lot of cutting done. Still got a little bit to go, but I'll get that done soon enough. Now, um, another thing that I did right before, like maybe on New Year's Eve or something, I was just trying to figure out something to do just to do some some free sewing or some fun sewing or some don't think about it sewing. And I decided to work on my, um, my Pellon paper scraps here. And so here is the light one. This is where I started and this is what I got done on it. And actually this one, it kind of tore. So I just folded it up and put it back in the bag. So I only have this much left to go on this particular strip for the light. But I did start a dark strip, and so this is what I got done on it. I think I did like, I don't know if I did 15 minutes or 30 minutes. It was probably a 30-minute deal where I just did as much as I could in that time period just to have something to kind of clear my head and do some simple uh, sewing that I really didn't have to think about. Now, the last thing that I want to share, I'm super excited about and that is these bears that I've been working on. If you see my Finish It Friday video, you saw that there is a series of four little bears that um, that I've been doing. Um, and I want to show those now. I'm actually filming on Monday because I'm going to give these bears to their owner. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show these to you because I'm super happy with the way they turned out. We'll go one at a time. This one is a, it was a denim shirt and it had this little design here on one, on both sides of the, the uh, buttons. And so what I did with it was I put it on one side of the shirt, I put the other buttons, I put the buttons on the other side of the, I said shirt, but on the belly. And then I took the other design and I made it a part of the leg here. So I think it's really cute. And this one, it has little leaves here on the collar. So I wanted to make sure that I showed that. And it's really cute. I'm just really happy with this one. Right now, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it what it looks like on the floor, but I'm going to put it in a box so that it can be ready to be delivered, hopefully today. Okay. All right. And the next one, this one was actually made out of a nightgown. So you can see on the front, I don't know if you can tell how blue it is. It's a really light blue, but on the front here is that was the design that was on the front of the nightgown. So I wanted to include that. And you can see that I kind of, like the way that I did it, I cut it um, down the middle and did the pattern pieces like that. So it turned out really cute. 
in the back is just plain and but it did end up with some pleats in it but to me it doesn't look bad it's, it's just it's just the way that it ended up but really cute okay the next one is another nightgown and this one it's pink hopefully you can tell that it's pink on camera um, but this one it had these little lines that were going straight down but when I cut um, when I cut the pattern pieces out this is how they ended up sewing together kind of at an angle but it turned out super cute just putting the design here and then leaving the rest of the bear plain I'm, I'm really happy with that one and then the last one is another denim um, another denim shirt this one you can see it had a little corduroy collar and it had the designs on um, at the bottom of each side so one was like a wheelbarrow and the other one was like a tree what I did was there was this leaf pattern on the main body of the shirt and so I used that in the belly and then in the face you can see on the sides of the face just a little bit and then I use those designs on the legs. So you can see this is like a wheelbarrow with the pumpkins in it. This side is with the tree. And then I have the designs on the bottom and on the ears as well. So they're just really cute the way that they turned out. So um, I just wanted to share these bears with you. Um, if you are not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and hit my, uh, you can click on my picture there in the bottom right and you're going to be subscribed to my channel. I typically do three videos a week and um, you can be a part of that community. I have a goal to reach 10,000 subscribers by July 31st of this year and all subscriptions help me to reach my goal. So if you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, leave them in the comments. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!